Hello, everyone. Hello, hello. Let's throw myself some water here. There we go. Okay, okay. Okay. Hello, everyone. How you all doing? I was trying to get some Kahoot music going on in here, but it was taking forever. Let's see if it's going to work now. Okay, guys. Um... If the Kahoot music doesn't work, I'll put some other music, but yes. Welcome, everyone, to Coding Livestream. Stream. Yes, welcome to the Coding Livestream. Uh, let me make this a little bit smaller. Uh, my name is Mr. Jengis. Or just Jengis. How are you all doing? Oh, Fiona, really? Mm, okay. Sorry, guys, if it's lagging or anything, but let me know if you, if you can't hear me. Let me know if you can't see me. Uh, I am having some internet problems today. Let's see if I can get that Kahoot music going. Go to the 80s funk. There's no Kahoot, guys. Oh, I'm not getting any. Oh. I don't know what's going on with code today, guys, but what I'm going to do is uh, to make some music happening in the background. I'm going to go and get that techno music that I really, really like. Uh, where it is? Yeah, here it is. Uh, I like that one more. Okay, let's get that sound and put it in here. Put it forever around it. Yeah, this is just for music in the background, guys. I'm just going to... Nice. I like that. I like that. All right. Okay, everyone. Let's lower that down a little bit. So friends, go ahead and go to scratch.mit.edu. Um, Fiona, for your account, we're gonna have to do that in class, Fiona. Yeah. Um, and friends, go to scratch.mit.edu and sign in, if you can. And uh, remember friends, uh, click create to make a new project. Click create to make a new project. Yeah. Yeah. Let me put this guy right here. And friends, just as an FYI, uh, this call is being recorded. This stream, I should say, is being recorded. This stream is being recorded. Yes, including the chat. So whatever you say in the chat is being recorded and whoever plays this recording later on will see what you said in the chat later on. So please everyone say hi to YouTube. Yes. Say hi. Say hi to YouTube. Uh, Fiona, you can. Uh, there was a password mix up, I believe. And friends. Or. You can just watch. Yeah, uh, Fiona, you're gonna you can not sign in and create something as a guest, um, but you can also, I believe, change your password maybe. But I might have to help you out with that on Thursday. Nice, Melissa. Hi, Tristan. No, Fiona, I did not change it. You were supposed to change it. Um, let's see. Hola, Nava. No, you're not late at all. Hi, Owen. Hola, niños. Oh, Tristan, how did you? That's cool. Those emojis are cool, you guys. Hi, Roslyn. Okay, guys. So, what are we making today? Today. Uh, today. Today. 
we are making a paint up. Yes, we are making a paint up. So years ago, like centuries ago, Jaylene, there used to be an, uh, a program called Microsoft Paint, and that's where you could go and draw stuff, and it was really, really cool. If you've done this before, and we're gonna make that app happen in Scratch, but if you have done this before, uh, just FYI, this one will be a little different. A little different. I will try to make it as different as I can. All right, guys. I'm gonna get started soon. I'll delete the sound. Okay, let's get into it. Oh yeah, I didn't know that. So, Jaylin, is your is do you prefer J by short? Hmm. And oh uh, yes, guys. So before we get in, uh, please like and subscribe. Please like and uh, subscribe that means the world to us when you like this video and subscribe i see 10 of you watching this yes 10 of you concurrent watchers uh only four of you liked what gives uh it really friends what if you like this video please click on like uh if you still want to continue watching and click like later you can totally do that too all right so i'm gonna like erase everything first of all friends Step one, one by by cat. Yes, yeah, so in this project, we can delete the cat. You click on a little trash can right here and it's bye bye cat. Okay. Next up friends, we're gonna click on the choose a sprite button down here. Oh, nice. Like seven of you liked just now. Wow. Fiona, yes, you can. You just can't save, perhaps. But um, I encourage you to create a new project. Try this out, and then you can recreate it with your account once you fix that. All right, so I'm going to click on Choose a Sprite down here and find the pencil. Friends, we have to use this, um, oh, this sprite right here. So we can search for it. You can type in pencil over there and search for the pencil and find the pencil in the sprite library. There it is. It's a pencil. It's pretty cool. After you make the pencil sprite, friends, go to costumes. So I'll do this in steps. So maybe I can make this a little bit bigger. One, go to costumes. So that's the first thing we're doing. I go to costumes. And then select all of the pencils. So what that means is you're going to make, you're going to click and drag from the top left corner to select the whole pencil. Mm. Oh, Abby, is, is your dog okay? Um, he might have something stuck in, in, in his or her throat or that's what my puppy had. My puppy loves to eat everything, um, even trash. What? There's two dislikes, Tristan? What are you saying? So yes, so first, go to costumes, two, select all of the pencil. So that's the second part. And you're gonna move that pencil away from the anchor point. So. In every sprite, there is an anchor point. That is the middle of your sprite. So the middle of your sprite can be off the pencil. And this is what we want here. So we're going to move that pencil away from that little dot in the middle. It's a circle with a plus on it. And we're going to move it away from it and make sure that your pencil is not touching it. It should be close, but not too close and not too far away either. Just about that much. Uh, but just make sure that that little circle is not on your pencil. If it's on your pencil, then you're going to be clicking on your pencil. So let's do this right now. Move it away from the center anchor right there. So three, move the pencil away from the anchor. And by anchor, I mean uh, a little 
circle with a plus sign in it. Yeah, it's weird, I know. There's a little circle in there with a little plus sign in it, and, it, and it's right here. Bam, that's, that's a little thing. All right, okay. Oh, we're, we're talking about Bobux, okay. You will never get my Bobux, yes. Uh, how many uh, Bitcoins is one Bobux? Oh, wow, I can't even spell this right. Yeah, Fiona, you have done this already. Owen, you probably have done this too. I don't know. Can somebody explain to Owen and to me what is a Bobux in Robux? Yeah, Rossum, I have no idea. I have no idea what kind of currencies you guys are using. But, okay. So once you do this, friends, you can go ahead and go back to the code. Bam. All right. The code here is pretty set starts pretty straightforward uh so i go to control add a forever to this and inside the forever i'm gonna say go to random position this is kind of fun you guys if you try this code and click on a green flag this happens bam pretty cool right yeah it's pretty cool you can just sit down and watch that all day Okay, instead of random position, we need to pick mouse pointer. This guy right here. Bam, cool. Nice, yes. I got some uh, pencil going around in here. And as you notice, my mouse pointer is not on the pencil. Right there. It's actually away from the tip of the pencil. What? Now there's a Robux. Robux is how many uh, Doge coins? I think I can find some Doge coins in my pocket somewhere. Hmm. Hmm. All right, guys. So next up after this, we need the pen blocks. Pen blocks are special kinds of blocks that are called the extension blocks. So yes, for this next part. Go to extension blocks. Yes, go to extension blocks and find and uh, click on pen blocks. Yes. Yes. So in here you have a button. Let me make an arrow towards it too. Boom, boom, boom. There's a button right there. And if you click on it, this little blue button with some plus signs on it. Oof, I got to move this guy. Put it up here. Go to extension blocks and choose the pen blocks. Yes, right here. At this corner right here. And I click right there. And in here you'll find the pen blocks. So there are many, many blocks in here. There's a music blocks, text to speech, all kinds of like Lego Mindstorm stuff. And what we're using though is a simple pen block, guys. So click on the pen. And now we have this strange pen category here. Remember we have motion, looks, sound categories, and all the way at the bottom you'll find the pen blocks, which is nice, which is really, really nice. Okay, guys, I'm gonna duplicate this guy and just delete the go to inside it. All right, so I have two parallel programs. These are two uh, parallel or parallel programs which means uh, two programs that run at the same time which means two programs that run at the oh, the same time so two simultaneous programs both are happening when green flag is clicked and they both kind of look similar right they, when green flag is clicked Something will happen forever. Okay. In here, friends, we're going to need to put uh, if, then, else. If, then, else is inside control. 
There's an if then, not, that's not the one we're using. We're using if then else. It's the if that kind of looks like an E. That kind of looks like an E, right? Hi, Deku. Okay, I go to the pen. Oh, and first let me go to sensing and get this mouse down. Mouse down, question mark. Mouse down means when you click on the mouse, then do something. If you're not clicking, then do something else. And here we're gonna make this pretty basic first. Let's do pen if mouse down, then pen down. Else if mouse is up, if you're not clicking on the mouse up, uh, if you're not clicking on the mouse, then pen up. So already I can kind of draw. Whoa, that's nice. That's really nice. Okay, so friends, next thing what we gotta do is we gotta start changing the color of this changing the pen size, and changing the, uh, what else we got? I think that's it, just pen size and color. Huh. All right. So for that, I'm gonna need set pen color two. Yes, set pen color two. What else we got? Saturation, brightness, transparency. That's kind of cool. And we also have set pen size to. I'm going to, I'm going to put all of those inside the same green flag click. So friends, these two things are parallel for programs. If you're having trouble finding the pen blocks, guys, they're inside this corner right here. You can go to the extension blocks and find the pen blocks in there. Oh, Melissa, the go to block is inside motion, but it's going to say go to random position. <laughs> yeah, you got it. Oh, wow. All right. Okay. So we have this set pen color block. And we also have the set pen size to block. All right, friends. So we can kind of play around with this already. Let's do this. I don't know. 77. If it's 77, then click on a green flag first. And it's a different kind of color. If this number is 100, then it's a different kind of color. Hmm. Oh, actually, we're going to be able to change this during the, the running of the program. So I'm going to move those inside the forever. Yes. Yes, I think that's going to be a lot better. So set pen color to set pen size to these are all inside the forever, but still outside that if then else. Okay. This is more like a red now. All right, let's see the maximum of this. If I go to 150, what will it be? Let's try that. That's like a green now. Let's try, okay, 200. What's that gonna look like? It's red again. Huh. 250. Blue again. 300. Red again. So I think it's by hundreds. I think maximum is gonna be 100. Let's try 90. It's less red. Let's try 20. And that's going to be getting more to the yellow category. Gotcha. All right. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's see how the chat is going. Okay, friends, so I'm going to go ahead and clear all of these annotations. And I'll go to, this time, I'm going to go to the variables category. We're going to need to make a variable for um, the color and the pen size and all that good stuff. So, friends, I'll zoom in a little bit here. Friends, you're going to go to variables, 
Maybe a little bit smaller. We're gonna go to variables. Click on make a variable. Make two variables called um, one will be one will be called color, and uh, another one will be called size, and they can be for all sprites, just in case for all sprites. Yeah, Melissa, it's actually doing it, right? So I'm going to do the same thing. I'll click on make a variable and inside here, let's make the variable name color. That's one of them. I'll click on make a variable again. This time I'm going to write size. So those are the two variables that we need. You're going to have to click on make a variable two times, two times, two times. Okay. All right. I think I can zoom out now. Let's see. Yeah, pen, pencil, I don't know. Could be a marker. All right, so we got something like that going on. Next up, friends, uh, I wanna change this so that we can actually change the color and size and we'll actually get to use them. Let's see here. All right, so if you made two variables called size and color, we're gonna actually start using them. Let me zoom zoom a little bit more again. All right, yes, I'm gonna put the color variable inside this bubble, set pen color to bubble, and I'm gonna put the size variable inside this bubble. So yeah, guys, size goes here, color goes there. So make sure that you have those. Make sure you click and drag the variables. Ooh, click and drag the variables here. Boom. Okay. All right, guys. Yes. Next up, after you use this, let's actually make this guy big. I'm going to make this guy a little bit more big. So, friends, okay. If you are on a, a, a Chromebook, you're going to have to do a two-finger click. So, if you're on a Chromebook, you'll see Chromebook like this. There's a trackpad right here where you use the mouse. And you're gonna do a peace sign and click on it with the two fingers. Once you click on it with the two fingers, you're gonna click on it with the two fingers on the color to get this menu right here. If you're using a Windows computer, you can just use your mouse and use the right click to click on color and select slider. If you're on an Apple, you might need to do, what is it? Control click. Uh, you might have a right click option or you can do the same thing, the two finger click. If you have a trackpad, two finger click on color and choose slider. Bam. All right, let's do the same thing for the size. Do a two finger click or a, a right click. Or if you're on an iPad, guys, this is also good. You can do a long click. If you click on it for a long time, you'll get this menu if you're on an iPad. Thanks, Jilly. Yes, friends, please like and subscribe to this channel. Uh, if you can, we're making more and more videos as we come along. I want to make a Roblox video. I want to make a Roblox scratch project, but um, I need to play Roblox first, I think. Okay, guys, I'm going to increase this size. Yes, this is perfect. Let me clear all this stuff. All right, so I'm drawing with this. I change the color a little bit, go there, change the color here, bam, change the color here, bam, bam, bam. Really nice. 
Make it blue. Oh, that's cool. Okay. All right. So this is already really, really fun. So I can change the color here. If I go all the way to zero, it's red. If I go like 20, it's yellow. If I go 40, uh, it is green. If I go 60, it is um, blue. Okay, interesting. If I go 80, it's going to be purple. That's cool. If I go 100, it's red again. Awesome. Zero and 100 is the same. Okay, Jaylene, yes, I'll, I'll make a Roblox account and we can play together. I'll, I'll try. Oh, Fortnite? You know, I have never played those games. I really haven't, um, but I do like games. Okay. Oh, tell me your favorite game right now. Yes, tell me your favorite game right now, and that'll be the game that I'll focus on so that I can make a project about it. Uh, what's the most popular game that you guys like to play? What's your favorite game you'd like to play right now? Okay. And while you're doing that, friends, I'm showing you the entire code right here. This is the entire code. Um, make sure that you change the variables to sliders. Oop, I can't do that here. So you click on the you right click on the variables and change it to a slider. If you're on a Chromebook, you can do a two finger click or you can do a long click. I think in any device you can do a long click. You just click for a long time and then let go. No. No. Oh, you can double click. I did not know that. You can double click on it, friends, and change the readout that way. So we want this slider readout. So we can change the size and the color to whatever we want. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Fortnite. Call of Duty. Okay. R Roblox. So there are so many Roblox games out there that I don't know which one. To, Brookhaven is a popular one, I guess. Jaylene is a, like all about, and Abby are all about Brookhaven. Oh, Ralston says Among Us. Wow. Among Us is such a stressful game. Okay, Jaylene. All right. I, th I think it looks like it's Roblox, you guys. But... Uh, Brookhaven is the only thing I know right now from Roblox. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's make some stickers. Next up, we're going to make some stickers. So I'm going to go all the way down here, guys, and click on choose a sprite. So I'm going to choose a few sprites. That pencil sprite, I'm going to choose that too. Yes, I'm going to choose a pencil sprite and move it down here. Notice, guys, as I'm moving it down, I'm also drawing. And I'm going to make that pencil sprite a bit smaller. So we got pencil 1, pencil 2. The pencil 2 size is going to be uh, 50. Yeah, that's about right. Cool. And let's make some more stickers. So if you want to do stickers, you'll click on some stickers. If you want to go back to the pencil, you'll click on the pencil. Let me choose a sprite. And what kind of sticker should I choose? First, I'll make the cat. Cat is the usual one. Make the size 50. And put it right here. All right. What else we got? We got... What are my favorite sprites from scratch? We got Cheesy Puffs. Make the size 50 on that too. I like Donuts. I'm sensing a food theme here, so I'll go with donuts. Yes. No, girl, you know.
All right, choose a Sprite. And I'll add them bananas, how about that? Yes, I'm definitely sensing a food theme here. A banana, yes. And change the size of the banana to 52. Okay. And one last one. What should I add here? Uh, Nava, please keep your gangster rap to a minimum and watch your language. I don't know where you're going with it. Nava, yeah. Uh, okay. Also, also, I want a dinosaur in here. Dinosaur is going to be 50. Bam. Move that dinosaur down here. Yes. So I got my stickers right here. And for the pencil, friends, what I'm going to do, or I'm back in this pencil code right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make some costumes for this pencil. <laughs> okay, Noah. Uh, all right. So I'm going to click on the trash can. For the sprites. So whatever ha I had before, I'm going to find those again. So I had the cat. Right? This one right here. I'm clicking on this button right here. I'm inside costumes, everyone. And inside costumes is this little choose a costume button. It's the same as choose a sprite button. But this one finds you all the costumes in the sprite library. What else did I get? I had some uh, cheesy puffs. Nice. I had a donut. What else? Um, I had a banana. There was a lot of foods going on. And then I had a dinosaur. Where's that dinosaur? Wait. Is there another dinosaur in here? Dancing dinosaur? Oh. Maybe I go to animals. Oh yeah, where's that dinosaur? Guys, I can't find a dinosaur in here. Uh, <laughs> I'll just change it to something else then. I'll do uh, this dinosaur. Alright. That's weird. Okay, and go back to the pencil spread. Uh, pencil costume. And then go to the code. Alright, so guys, this is what we'll do. On the right side, I have all my sprites. Go to each sprite. For example, let's go to pencil. When, oh sorry. When this sprite is clicked, we're gonna broadcast a message. New message, let's call it pencil. So we're building the connection between these buttons and the actual pencil sprite. So that when it receives the pencil message, it's gonna change costume to the, mm, to the pencil. Let's do the same thing for the cat. Uh, when this sprite is clicked, broadcast, cat. We're just making these buttons broadcast messages. That means it's going to send a signal out to any other sprite. And other sprites can do other things. It's a way for sprites to talk to each other. I'll call this one cheesy. Let's go to the donut. When this sprite is clicked, broadcast. Uh... Guess what? Donut. And let's do the same thing for the bananas. When this sprite is clicked, uh, well, guess what? Broadcast. Bananas. Finally, for the dinosaur. Actually, let me delete this dinosaur and use the other dinosaur because I couldn't find this dinosaur in there. That was weird. Okay, uh, this one, yep. 50. Move down here. All right. Uh, and for this one, when the, when a dinosaur is clicked, broadcast, new message, I'm gonna call this one Dino. Dino. That's cool. All right, now I can go back to the original pencil. The, our first sprite ever. In here, we got to use when I receive, when I receive bananas, when I receive a cat, when I receive cheesy, Whew. for all of them, when I receive a dino, I might have to zoom out a little, a little bit here, um, okay, it's going to be a lot, okay, 
I'm just kind of placing them around here. And then when I receive donut, and then when I receive pencil. Whew, okay, that's a lot of them. And then we're gonna go to looks and grab that uh, switch costume too. So if it's dinosaur, if I re receive dino, then switch costume to dinosaur costume. When I receive bananas, switch costume to bananas. And I can I can duplicate this guy. When I receive cat, switch to cat. When I receive cheesy, switch to cheesy puffs. When I receive donut, switch to donut. And when I receive pencil, switch to pencil. So yeah, you need to, it's, it's tedious, you guys. It's not easy, but you need to actually set this whole thing up with the messages with broadcast so that the original pencil can receive it. Oh, so that my original pencil can receive it. I accidentally got the donut in here. My pencil became a donut. Okay, okay. All right. Let's try this out. I'm gonna do it this way. We'll go to events. And when space key pressed. Actually, can I do it a different way? Guys, we have about seven minutes, so I really, really wanna add uh, some advanced code in here. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna move this around a little bit. I'm gonna move these to the side. We don't need these guys ever again. And let me go to the costume. Can I get the costume name? Number? Let's do the costume number. And I'm gonna put an if. Remember this? These two parallel codes that we had in the beginning? I'm gonna put an if in one of them. And grab operators and an equal sign and the not sign. Yes, inside operators is a not sign and move the costume number here. If the costume number is not one, then another if, yeah. If not one and it's mouse down, then uh, stamp. Yes, I, all along I was trying to use this stamp uh, block right here and friends if that was a bit too much that's totally fine if I went a bit too fast that's totally fine you can go back and watch the recording of this video and you'll also be able to check out uh, all the chats that you did while watching this yeah let me save now before I okay all right Whew. all right okay here's how it works I'm gonna test it out I can draw I can change the color and change the size of what I'm drawing Oh, I'm not clearing. Yes, I also need to add and erase all under any green flag. That's the last thing, I think. All right, click on a green flag. Clears it all. I can draw something here. Boom. Hey, nice. I can change the color. Cool. If I click on the dino, hey, it becomes a dino. I can click and I can stamp it. I'm still getting that. Hmm. Now I got a banana. I can stamp some bananas in here. Now I got a cheesy puffs. I can put some cheesy puffs everywhere. In fact, you can just like draw with it. Still, I get that color in there. Let me see if I can do something about it. Yes, I totally can. I can put an if around this guy. And if I can just duplicate this and put it in there. If costume number is one, then and also, if mouse is down, then start drawing. And it'll only happen if the costume number is one. Let me get that costume number one. Woo! Nice, we're drawing for this one. Oh. Oh, wow. Still drawing. What just happened? Pen down. It's always pen down. Oh, I'm gonna try this out again. And let me add this code. Switch costume to pencil. Okay. Pull. Pull. Oh. If co 
costume number equals one, not equals one. Oh, that, that totally did not work. I don't know why. Okay, I'll give up on that one. Because we're running out of time. All right, guys, this is the code I have. It's all about um, two parallel programs. And uh, it's all about these buttons at the bottom, which broadcast messages. When I click on a green flag, it erases everything. I can draw. I can click on a banana. And I can stamp some bananas over here. I can click on a... Oof, I can't even click on a dinosaur right now. Oh, I need to move all of them away from the anchor. Hmm, interesting. Okay, all right. Hey, Tristan, nice, nice joke. Okay, so I'm going to click on share. And I'll call this one drawing app. And, um, you know, change the pen size and uh, change the color. Click on the screen to draw. Nice. And friends, you can actually go here. Yes, you can actually go to this app. And uh, you can like it, subscribe it, and I'll put the link into the chat. HTTP scratch.mit.edu slash projects slash 4990164. Bam. Yes, that is my project right there. You can check it out. Let me see if it works. You can click on it and it'll take you to this project where you can draw. Yes, just click on a green flag and you can draw and stuff. You can change the color. If you want a finer pen, you can do a finer. You can get a you know, cat thing over here. I don't know. I might need to fix some stuff. But yes, it's in there. Hold on, guys. Let me actually quickly, quickly fix some stuff here. For each of these costumes, I gotta do the same thing that I did for the pencil. So I gotta move them. Ooh. Oh, wow. I gotta move them away from the center of the sprite. So they have to be away from that little circle with a plus sign in it. Yes, and I gotta do this for every one of them. Whew. Okay, but I'm almost done. Nice. Now I can stamp. And then choose stuff. Bam. Bam, 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 And draw at the same time, which is cool. All right, guys, that is it for today. If you want to check it out, you can check out my project in the chat. Nava, thank you for changing it up into a chicken wing song. Uh, that's also cool. It has a cool beat, right? I, I don't know. All right, let's go to Kahoot, everyone. Today's Kahoot is in honor of uh, International Women's Day. Happy International Women's Day, everyone. I believe it was yesterday, right? Or was it some time ago? Or was it a Women's Month? I'm not, yeah. Uh, but, friends, women have had a big, huge part... Mm in uh in computer science the first computer programmer was a woman the first computer uh the first programmers of an actual computer were also women and most computers when computers used to be a job title most computers used to be a uh, woman as well yeah in the old days people were computers oh kahoot is not working is it me or is, is kahoot not working right now what? It was yesterday, right? Yeah. <sighs> yeah, my screen is entirely white right now because Kahoot is just not loading. Yeah, I have no idea. Kahoot dot 
Chrome.com. I click on login. And this happens. Goes into create Kahoot mode. Uh oh. Let me see if I can play something in here. Mm -hmm. Is that going to work? Please work. If Kahoot doesn't work, friends, can we play a different game? Hmm. Oh, something's happening. Maybe it's my internet that's causing the problem. Yes. I'm down with that. Friends, yes, I... Oh, that helped. Whew. Friends, I had to turn on my camera. Turn off my camera. I had to turn off my camera. But I think that helped. Oh wow, it's taking forever. That's crazy. All right. What do you all think? Should we play a different game? says we're unable to get a game pin. I don't know what's going on with Kahoot. But it looks like Oh wow. Huh, I can place them around. Cool. Okay. I don't know. I just found this thing. Oh, that's a opponent. We're going to play against a real person. Okay. All right, let's just click on randomize. I'm just randomizing it. Uh, play. Oh, now I can't set up Among Us, but I can set up this. Or right. let me try a different Battleship game, you guys. You know. Um, maybe this one. Not this one. Hey, it started working. Maybe. Whew. Okay, I'll keep the battleship game in, um, in the background. But, friends, it looks like it's working. All right. Uh, not gonna win is here. This is broken is here. And sorry, Al, I had to close my camera, but I assure you, I am still here. And JJ the Clown is here. Ice Cream Baby is here. I mean, Ice Cream Abby is here. I wonder if I can do Among Us with you guys next time. Pink Queen Ubu is here.
All right, friends. I am starting in five, four. Starting in five, four, three. Eric and Navar are here. Two, one, and start. Okay, women in computer science. All right. Ada Lovelace was the world's first computer programmer. Which country was she from? That's Ada Lovelace right there. Computer programmer. And she wrote computer programs before computers were invented. Yeah, she was like, maybe it'll be useful someday. And if you don't know, just take a guess. England was the correct answer. Yes, this is Ada Lovelace. She was from England. And uh, yeah, she decided to write some computer programs for a computer that didn't exist. All right. Grace Hopper noticed her computer stopped working because of a moth. Which word describes computer errors and moths? Friends, if you still want to join in, you can still join in to the Kahoot. Just go to kahoot.it and enter the pin 7270011. Is it violent? Is Among Us violent, really? Yeah, it kind of is. Bam! Yes. Grace Hopper was a computer programmer and she found a bug inside a computer and that's what was causing her program to fail. Okay, how about this? Mary Allen Wilkes designed the world's first mini computer. Which one of these is most similar? And look at that. Look at that mini computer. Right? There's a mini computer. It has two screens. Yeah, it's... Um, I played Among Us with my friends and we are not friends anymore. The game is very stressful. Yeah, it's, it's a pretty stressful game. There is a lot of um, figure, yeah, figuratively and literally, there's a lot of backstabbing going on. Boom, yes, not a radio, friends, a laptop computer. That was like the laptop computer of the time. Look at this. That, that might be a touchscreen in there, maybe. All right. True or false, computers used to be very large, sometimes the size of a room or a small building. Yep, there are some neck snaps and uh, tongue kills? I don't know what a tongue kill is.
I, I want to know, actually, guys, what's your Among Us strategy? Oh, yes. This is a computer, you guys. And it could probably just calculate multiplication. Yeah, it was crazy. These huge, huge machines are less strong in computing power than calculators. Oh, Bob is here. Hi, Bob. Oh yeah, there are neck neck uh, snaps. In. Yes, okay. Uh, Catherine Johnson was an important human computer and mathematician at NASA. Which 2016 movie is about her story? Wait, you can turn off the lights in the electrical? Wow, Jaylene, that is genius. You turn off the lights, go to electrical, and get everyone there. And then you act like you were there to fix the electrical. That is devious. Oh, Nava says, if I'm the imposter, I just fake a task and see a player near me and kill them. Nice. <laughs> this is, wow, that's crazy. You can close doors? I didn't know that. Anyways, guys, this is Katherine Johnson from the movie Hidden Figures. Whoa. Not Gonna Win is in, back in the picture. Bob is in fourth place now. This is Broken is in fifth place. Okay. All right. Mar Margaret Hamilton came up with the term blank after handwriting software for the Apollo space mission. Yes, she hand wrote that? That's crazy. And then you have to vent. Right. So venting means not only are you like talking about your troubles in life, but venting in Among Us means you go inside a vent and hide in there. That's okay. That's so devious. When you trap people behind two doors, you say you box them. Oh, oh, I see what you mean. Hmm. That's right, software engineering. She invented the term software engineering and this was a program that she wrote by hand. That's, that's crazy. That's a lot of work, man. All right. All right. Okay, let's see the next question. True or false, Ada Lovelace wrote programs for computers that were not invented yet. Tristan, that's right. You, you, you gotta fake some tasks. You gotta convince your crewmates. And um, maybe take a leadership role and blame others. And remember, I think in some games there are two imposters, so we gotta work, work well with the other imposters too sometimes. Mm -hmm. That's right, Ada Lovelace wrote computer programs for computers that were not invented yet. Guys, I'm gonna give you the last question. This is the last, last question because we're out of time. Dorothy Vaughan was a mathematician and computer scientist who had her own division at NASA. What does NASA stand for? Yes, what does NASA stand for? Is it the National Aeronautics and Space Administration 
or is it the National Aquatics and Space Administration? Oh wow, there's some game games have three imposters. Oh. Okay, I'm I'm down to do one one imposter game. Okay. That's right. NASA stands for National Aeronautics and Space Administration. Guys, I gotta end the game there. All right. Third place goes to Bob. Congratulations, Bob. Second place goes to Pink Queen Ubu. Congratulations. And first place goes to Ice Cream Abby. Wow, she hung in there. Not gonna win is fourth place. JJ the Clown is in fifth place. I wanna check this out. Who was, which question was the most difficult one? Yes. None of you got this one right. Mary Allen Wilkes designed the world's first mini computer. Which of these is most similar? The laptop computer. Yeah. Also, Ada Lovelace questions. Ooh, nice. All right, friends. Uh, GG, everyone. Thank you all for joining today. And I'll say and say bye to YouTube. Bye, YouTube.